Welcome back people of the internet and welcome back to another video Welcome back to my channel This is Adam the Fat Keeper Yeah <coughs> So Today we're taking a break from all the gaming and today we will be looking at what goes on behind the scenes and allows the gaming to happen First up, this is not the PC I stream or game on. I am actually using oops, <coughs> the Legion Wi Fi 3 0 laptop. Do you guys hear? Yeah, here it is. Uh, so, yeah, this is what I've been working on. It has an i7 8th gen um, core with 1050. GPU as well as it only 8 gigs of RAM, which is why my streams have been so laggy. Not only that, and not only that, I had to install an extra 1 terabyte Firecuda into this bad boy. So that's that. So, what do I have here? This is my 10 year old PC. Or at least it was. Okay, so let me just give you a background on what this casing which used to hold the PC was all about. Um, I built this with my father and grandfather about 10 years back. Yeah, and it's where I played my first few games on it. And back then I didn't really play our games. I played mostly um, Blackshot, uh, Starcraft. Command and Conquer and Total Annihilation. Those were some old games. And the only game I still play now is StarCraft and Command and Conquer a bit. So yeah, that's that. So what happened to this PC was I tried to fix it. I tried to restore it. And I put it in this case. Why did I do that? Ah well uh long story short. I thought the buttons were not working, so I changed the case into the Armageddon Falcon V1X case. So I actually have a CD drive here, and I think it still works. I haven't tried it yet, but but when I changed it, it was still like turning on and off my phone. So what I did next was I changed the power supply to a temperous 850 watt. So yeah, so. In this case, holds a 10 year legend that allowed me to start my very first PC gaming experience. A lot of you guys will see YouTubers um, building new PCs, uh, starting from scratch, uh, doing guides how to build PCs, um, trying out new parts, testing new parts testing out new parts like LTT, Jay-Z, etc. But that's not what we are going to do today. What we're going to do today is actually upgrading this bad boy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to salvage whatever parts I get. So that would probably mean the PSU as well as the HDP and the C drive. And I think that's about it. So why not we just take a closer look inside this thing that I built yeah let's go all right so this is what we have this is actually a i7 core but at gen 2 to 600 and I think I have about 8 gig of DDR3 RAM here I've got one fan for intake one fan for exhaust as well as the Templarius Inter Imperator 850 PSU It's a semi-modular one which I just bought So yeah uh, For GPU we have the HD6870 Radeon AMD GPU as well as the Samsung CD drive So that's about it Oh, and a uh, one terabyte Toshiba HDD. I don't know if you can see, but it's there. Yeah, so... Yeah, this thing is pretty much dead. 
and after 10 years I think it deserves an upgrade for it to work again so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be salvaging the CD drive the HDD the PSU cause it's um, bought like recently and that's about it yeah. so later in the afternoon I'll be going to Stadium Square which is Singapore's place to buy all your PC parts that is required everything is there from AMD to Intel to 1 gig GPUs to like 8 gig GPUs everything is there so what I'm going so I've actually been doing some research uh, I've been going on Aftershock, um, Dreamcore, etc, etc All the different websites where you can like plan to build your custom PCs So, there's that uh, But I won't exactly tell you what I'll be getting right now Instead, I'll tell you at the end of the video So, you know, keep watching Or you might catch it a bit when I'm buying a litter <laughs> so, so, I've been there before, I checked out the prices And I roughly know what I want to get Especially with the new motherboards that just came out and yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Alright, so let's go. So we managed to get our parts. Um, yeah, we got parts at trip back. Yeah, you can see over there. Ah, no. Okay, okay trip back. Yeah, yeah. So far, um, I, I spent about around one k plus. <laughs> uh, yeah, and they offered me the best value in all the parts that I wanted. Yeah, yeah. stay tuned to find out what I've got. And yeah. See you guys soon. I just came back from. Same name. Yeah, okay. Oh, it's actually quite late right now. It's quite around 8 pm. It's not really late, uh, but. Yeah, it's 8 pm. It's night time, and yeah. So, everything that I got. Let's see this back. And why not we go through it together today? And this is where I'll end off today's video. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's part one. Before uh, we get into this, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, remember to subscribe, like, share, and yeah, stay tuned for part two where I actually build the PC and benchmark the PC. All right, let's get into it. First up, we have the motherboard. Okay, so I got the Tough Gaming B five fifty M plus Wi Fi. So, I know my case is um, uh, f for full ATX, but why did I choose this case? Well, because it comes with Wi Fi. <laughs> I did not want to buy another, uh, another Wi Fi card, or whatever it's called. And with this, I actually save a little bit of money. And because I don't plan on using more than one GPUs or expanding it in the future So I thought this micro ATX would be more than enough Besides it can Pull up to 1 to 8 DDR4 gig memory And yeah It's pretty decent I will say Um, So why the B550 not the B450 10? Well 
Basically, because B five fifty M actually um, breaches the B four fifty as well as the X five seventy, and the fourth gen Ryzen coming out and future, I think that B five fifty will actually be a more worth it choice. But I know the B four fifty will also be able to support the fourth gen, but who knows? It might not be able to support the fifth gen or sixth gen Ryzen in the future. So yes, let's say the B five fifty is the one I got. So what's next? <clears throat> so of course with the motherboard, I will get I will buy a Ryzen AMD CPU, and the CPU I got is the Ryzen five thirty six hundred. So why the Ryzen five thirty six hundred not thirty five hundred or the previous generations? Well, the thirty six hundred is pretty sick. <laughs> Six core and twelve threads. And for streaming, I do need a very powerful CPU. Especially if I'm with my streaming or my video creating, this would be the key, the key thing. <coughs> okay, next up, before we get to the max fixing of the uh, PC build, I will be going through the smaller parts. Um, okay, so for Storage, I have a 500GB Lexa NM610 NVMe SSD So people, call, people will say, why not get Samsung? Why not get um, all the other better brands? Well, for me, I think Lexa was a pretty good deal to me Yes, I got this for about 100, 106 around there maybe Yeah, and honestly, it's sufficient, it's all I need yeah, it's, of course I'll be mainly just storing my OS system on this, all my system, all my main main apps on this storage, and yeah, that's that'll be good enough for me. So what's next? Okay, I got the Cooler Master Cycle Flow One Two Zero Blue Case Fan. Now looking at my case, um, I already have one intake and one exhaust case fan. But I thought having a second intake uh, fan would be a bet would be allow would allow better airflow. So hence I got the Cycle Flow One Two Zero Blue Cooler Master fan. And it's blue. And it matches my whole um, system of here. Blue white sort of. <coughs> there you are. The RAM. This is the clef. 8 uh, 16 gig DDR4 3600 RAM. Boom. Okay. Originally, I actually wanted to get the Cost Air Vengeance LPX RAM, but after doing some research, I thought that the Clef 16 gig RAM was more worth it. It was cheaper. That's the number one thing. Um, it is pretty decent and. <laughs> I don't know, it's just, I mean, it's RAM. Yes. I think it's gonna be worth the money. Yeah, 16 gig for about 123, I think. It's pretty decent, pretty good. So yeah, now that leaves us to the final item, which should be the GPU. Now, originally my budget was about 1.1K Sing dollars. So I thought of going with the um, with the sixteen sixty super at first, but after much um, more research, much more consideration, I thought I would go with something bigger, newer, and better. Yeah, what I got is Zoltec Gaming twenty seventy super GeForce RTX. So, 2070 uh, Super uh, GPU is actually an 8 gig uh, chip RAM. You know, compared to the 6060 Super, which is the 6 gig um, GPU, and it has the Nvidia encoder inside, which will reduce the strain significantly by from my CPU, which allows me to have higher frame rates when streaming and coding. And it really allows me to do better streaming 
content as well as video editing etc. What we just wow okay <coughs> this is the most expensive part of the entire PC build. Well okay many people will argue that this will be a uh, overkill or something but I find that the 2070 Super bringing it a newer generation model of the NVIDIA um, graphics card will actually allow me to have a better future proof plan yeah that's about it <laughs> I don't know I feel for some I got so I got this for 740 SGD yeah so anyway that's that <coughs> yeah so that's that that's my GPU 2070 Super in game and I'm really hoping that this will really really pack a punch in the whole system and really boost the system's um, process in all sorts of different ways especially, especially the encoding part this will really help a lot so, uh, and oh, another reason why I choose this is because I will be playing mostly on 1440p now 1660p would be great for 1080p and all but for 1440p this is the go-to and this is the go-to yeah so that's that <coughs> so that's all oh, that's everything that I have so as mentioned in the earlier part of the video I'll be salvaging the CD drive if possible the one terabyte Toshiba HDD um, as well as the PSU and the case obviously so that's it uh, I think that was a pretty good it's a pretty good lineup I wouldn't really go into all the tech specs everything because I'm not exactly the best tech expert out there <laughs> anyways I hope you guys enjoyed today's video uh, if you guys did, so do remember to subscribe, like, share, and yeah, stay tuned for part 2. And I will see you guys again in the next video or the next stream. And once again, this is the Fat Keeper signing out.